What's good YouTube, it's your main man Code Room, and I'm back with another video. So in my recent terrain video that everybody seemed to like, a commenter asked if I could make a tutorial on it. In the terrain video, everything was time lapse, so the work was way too fast to follow. So in this video, I'm going to do a tutorial style. So the first thing you're going to need is Blender, and you're going to want to add a plane mesh, and you want to go over to Geometry Nodes. Now real quick, I just want to say I didn't come up with this method to make the terrain. I actually followed a tutorial from CG Matter. The video was called Blender Terrain in Two Clicks. So if you want to go and watch the original video, then you can do that. For the purposes of this tutorial, I'm going to show you what I did. So you want to add a plane mesh, then subdivide it in edit mode. You want to subdivide it around eight or nine times. That's how many times I did. And now you want to head over to geometry nodes. Then you want to add a new set of geometry nodes. Now there will be two nodes, group input and group output. What you want to do is add a node called set position, and you want to link the geometry of this to the other nodes. Next, you want to add a node called combine X, Y, and Z, and take the vector and connect it to the offset. And from here, you would only need to add one more node which would be the noise texture and you want to link color to the x on the combined x y and z and then you can just edit all the properties on noise texture to get the type of terrain you want now if you want to know my settings i had the scale set to 2 the detail on 4.5 the roughness on 0.539 and the distortion set to 0 you don't have to have it this way you can change it and edit it to what you want so then from here you can just export the terrain into godot also make sure you shade smooth the terrain before you export it now i know that might sound kind of lengthy but it's pretty easy to do you shouldn't have have any issues importing it into Godot. So once you've imported the terrain, you want to go to surface material override, and then you can make whatever shader you want. As of right now, this is the easiest way I know to make a terrain in Godot for. Because at the current moment, we don't have any terrain plugins. And this is one of the main reasons why I would still use Godot 3 right now, because Godot 4 is still very limited when it comes to add-on. You know, Godot 3 is pretty much finished. It's not perfect, but it's finished. Godot 4 is stable, but it's not finished. Maybe in a couple months, we might see like some add-ons for a terrain. As of right now though you'd have to follow tutorials like this to make a terrain in Godot. So I hope this helps somebody out. I'm really close to 500 subscribers so if you could sub that would really be helpful. Have a great rest of your day and I'm out of here.